Hello everyone and welcome to a new game that just came out. This game is called Anti-Hero. Um, these three levels here I just played were kind of a tutorial in a sense, so I didn't really want to record those because it's kind of slow going. This is a really fun game. Um, you're playing as a master thief and you play against another thief of some description and this one will be going against Ma Matilde. Is it Matilda? I guess Matilda. Or Matilde, whatever. Um, so we're going against her. There are a lot of different ways to win um, against them, and I'll go over them as we kind of run into them. But this is my my master thief here, Unsatisfied Eris, who plays at being a thief for thrills. Okay. Avoids direct contact. Small army of thugs that she uses to block opponents. So I will try to... Okay, five churches on the map. Uh, okay. So I'll explain the units as I kind of run into them. Um, what you're doing as a master thief, you want to do what's called burgling to most buildings you see. That'll scout it and then allow you to gain benefits from it. I immediately get gold from scouting them. Um, and then it allows me to put units in here knowing kind of what the building contains essentially. So what we're going to do here is we don't have a lot of money, so we're going to burgle this. Um, and then little houses like this will give us um, money as well. Then we're going to go to the upgrade screen. We upgrade with what's called lanterns. Now, you can get them from trading houses, but only if you start putting units in here. So we have to get cooking, which unlocks a unit called urgence. So we can't attack or really do anything but occupy... Buildings. I'm on it. So now that I have him in here, it creates a lantern per turn. So every turn I'm going to be earning one more lantern. And then also if I put, um, I think if I put like three urchins in here, it starts giving me two lanterns per turn. So right now we're just going to keep one in there so we can save the four gold we get. Um, another thing I should mention while I'm thinking about it is each of- I am here! Each of every unit you uh, you buy, like you buy the first one, it costs three. Each one you buy Hello. subsequently costs one Let's more gold. Go. So it's more expensive to start buying more and more. But we're gonna be making some gold here. Also, when I was speaking, something happened over here. This guy appeared. He is what's called an assassination contract. Um. Let's see. Okay, I'm trying to explain this, but not explode everyone's brain. So, there are victory points. These are slots for victory points. So, it basically means me or Matilda need five victory points to win. One of the things you can do... Um, oh, shoot. By the sisters. Sorry, I was, I was reading that. Um, sorry, I'm just looking. Oh, the sisters. Okay, that's... Dang, that's far down. So one of the victory points you can get is called first bribe. Oh, well, actually, there's multiple bribes. But the first bribe costs five lanterns, and it automatically gives you a permanent victory point that you cannot lose. Another way to get a victory point is by killing an assassination target. It will give you a little skull icon for the victory point. And that also cannot be taken away once you kill them. Now, the ones that can be taken away are these little scroll icons. They're what's known... I think it's called a bribe? You send urchins, you have to send three urchins to a church to get the bribe. But people can evict your urchins and then you'll lose the possibility of that victory point. So anyways, it's it'll all reveal itself. I am probably being so confusing right now, but let's see. So what I want to do is I want to buy a gang. Oh, yeah. I like the gangs. They are essentially like your your powerhouse on the on the map um the thief can gain attacks if we buy him weapons but the gang is going to be your main source of power you can attack like npcs with them you're but they're who you're going to want to send after the assassination uh, assassination contracts yeah because they will of get course. more powerful if you kill an enemy on the map, even if these, because these guys don't attack you back. Even if you kill someone who can't attack you back, you can upgrade their damage. 
and they only get one strike. So now he has two damage. This person has four health, so we need to do four damage to him in one turn. Let's go ahead and burgle the church. Now it's scouted, so it. now we can start sending urchins to here to infiltrate. Hello. To right away. Um, eventually earn this bribe that's going to get us a victory point. Now it's not permanent, but if we can hold it, it's essentially permanent to us. So it's wise to have. Alright, um, let's see, well it's early game and I have, I have, let's see, I'm only gaining one per turn, is there something else I can do? Oh, I can take charity, okay. Uh, shoot, but if I take charity, it actually, uh, I can't buy an upgrade. We, for now, we're gonna do brewing. Um, the dagger gives my Master Thief one damage to attack with, but I'm going to keep it the way it is. You know, thugs, they can either block, um... Okay. They can block streets from ally er, from enemies that can't attack, or you can add them to a gang, which gives the gang more health. Now, just because I don't want my gang to be killed, because they're the powerhouse on my map, I am going to keep them alive as best I can, by giving them more thugs to keep their health up. And then we're gonna go, I guess, kill a bunch of NPCs on the map, um, just so we can get that power up. Now when we see an NPC like that shadow person go. just got smacked and fell over here, chances are that means that the enemy has a gang as well. Um, so that's kind of a bummer. Because that means Honest. they're also getting powerful. So we want to use our, we want to use our master thief to scout, and then this guy to go around and start killing people. And then if we, if we can buy urchins with money we have, that would what? be good Coast. to keep these nice and upgraded or nice and infiltrated, I guess. All right. So let's see. This time I only have one. We'll do master thief gets it extra action. That's not bad. Uh, okay. I've never actually gotten down this skill tree much. Oh, and it grants an immediate action. Okay, thanks. Oh, so bank. We can put urchins, I think from what I'm understanding, we can put urchins there and it'll give us more money each turn. Which early game may be what we want. We're not wanting to go for victory points right off the bat. Just because, especially um, for the bribing victory points, they can be taken away. Yeah. So I'm gonna try to explain this sure. as slowly as I ca possibly can, but it's just it's it's gonna be a lot to take regardless. So now we have four attacks, so we can kill this guy, but we can't kill them this turn because our gang is already attacked. So what I'm gonna do, if it'll let me. Is that I'm all? going to scout burgle this. So now I have it scouted. And I can send urchins what? there for more cash monies. I'm on it. I'm going to do that. Um, let's see. Okay, so down here, it looks like if I put three urchins in there, I get three gold per turn. So we're going to hold that off for now. Then I guess for right now I'll give myself a dagger because with three um three lanterns in however many turns it takes me, we can start um uh we can start upgrading the amount of damage I can do, which is gonna be super helpful for when we get assassination contracts with more than like four or five health because then I will have to help um, the gang kill them. So there's our assassination contract. Real quick, let's remove what? one of these guys and throw them Coach. here so we can get two lanterns per turn. Huh? And then I'm gonna throw this oh, guy cool. at our assassination contract so we can kill him and get a victory point. Now it's gonna go up here. It's our first out of five victory points. Let's go with more gold or kills because we're gonna need it to buy a lot of urchins. 
Uh, let's go burgle all these places to get some extra money. Yes. And orphanages. I think you can put um, urchins in there and it'll give you a lower give you a lower cost urchin. I think. Oi. Is what I'm understanding. So I'm gonna put this guy all here. Right, then. That gives us our second victory point. Blackmail. It's blackmail. So this is only a temporary one. That's something we have to keep in mind, is that one is only temporary, so we can't hold on to it um, without worrying about losing it. So what I'm going to do this turn is, since I'm getting two more next turn, I'm going to take charity with two lanterns. That means next turn, when we get our other two lanterns from the trading house, I can immediately buy the first bribe, assuming Matilda... <gasps> Oh crap, she almost has enough. If she doesn't go for the bribe, I'm set. But if she does, uh, well then that kind of sucks for me. I am here. And Friar, good old Friar Barnacle, who could forget him? Although now, Friar Barnacle, we have, um, we have enough damage on the field to actually kill him. But there is a thug in our way, so... Yeah, and I can't, my guy can't attack twice. Okay, so we're gonna... Wait, okay, what was I saying I was gonna do? Uh... Oh, the first bribe. There we go. Okay. It's permanent. I got it. It's mine. Now I want to go back and look. Okay, so it doesn't show the next bribe cost, but that's okay. That's fine. I'm not worried about it. So Hello. for now, we need money, so I'm gonna send him to the bank. And I unfortunately do not have enough money to send a third one, but that's fine. I'm gonna kill this guy. And then we're going to, cause I made this mistake in the little tutorial. I am going to leave all? Friar Barnacle ah, because at one point during the tutorial, I attacked him with a gang that had a lot of attack. And then my enemy essentially snuck in and killed him um, for free due to my hard work. So, we're gonna leave him alone. Um, cause he really doesn't need to... Need to... Oh, shoot. Oh, okay, I thought there was multiple churches being leveled up. I was like, you bitch. Alright. Uh, okay. Fire Barnacle, we can get him this time. Let's go ahead and attack him with the, with the Master Thief. Huh? And now we attack sure. him with the sky. And we have got another victory point. Now, if we can keep the church secure, the church over here, what we can do... Yeah, that's a regular thug. Okay, that's what I thought. Uh, so let's see. Uh, let's uh, so if we can hold this church here in the bottom corner and keep that blackmail point as long as we enter this one right here and get the full blackmail on that one, we can win. I am here. But it's all about holding on to that. Mm. Oh, shit. Oh. I was going to say I could make it over to the friar, but not anymore because they blocked him. Uh, and I... I can't remember if thugs can out my urchins or not, but essentially I can't move this route because he's blocking that. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and kill him. I think is our best bet. And then we're gonna... Sure, we'll take that. We'll scout this, which should give us some money. Or a lantern. Money. Nice. Okay. Then I'm gonna pull this. <gasps> Okay, I didn't even get any money because there's a thug there. Sure. Kill that guy. Oh. Give us some more money from the kill. And then this honestly isn't really the way I'd recommend Hello. going about this. Cause I oh actually All right, then. I don't know if I'll have enough money. Let's see. So I'm creating gold for turn by Hello. going in there. Right then away. What should happen? So, yeah. I'll have enough for three urchins to immediately go into the church right and give me the final victory point. Through black. Man. Now, I kind of went mostly gold build 
um, for this mission here, which I wouldn't usually recommend because it's kind of a risky game to play, uh, but because I was able to protect the churches so well, it kind of ended up working out. And then Emma is the other um, thief we played as in the, in the uh, tutorial. So, rob the royal family, out with the surveillance, tour the royal palace, bring back some souvenirs. Okay, so I don't really- oh, there's the palace. Okay. I don't really know what to do, though. Huh? Guard tower. What? Huh. Okay, send thugs to captive active guard towers. You can burgle the palace for two victory points. So burgle the palace at least once to win. So do I have to hold all guard towers? And I can't attack him. Okay, so we gotta burn the trading house. Shine? There's no way you can, because you have, have to. What? to get that original Let's go. Um, lantern there. Alright, so let's see. Scout, we don't have much else to do. I could have burgled there. I didn't even think about that. The darker buildings are ones that I haven't burgled, but I can. So I honestly should have, but I didn't even think about it. That's okay. Did you say more? <gasps> Miss Piggott. Ah, oh, goddammit. Okay, so he killed the one with that guard tower. It's real quick. I'm gonna buy my first gang. I'm gonna need that. And then... Yeah. Oh shit. Hello, mate. Is Scout it the all? Streets. That's right. Then. Uh, It'll be more. This way. I'll have him kill this guy. We'll sure. Wait on the guard tower for now. I really want to see what this is and whether or not we could scout it next turn. So we'll go ahead and stick with that. And then we really only need a couple more things to kill until we can kill Miss Piggott over there, which is gonna be what we want to do. We have to burgle the palace at least once, but for now we can kind of hold off on that and go for the other victory points we need. So let's see, can we go dagger? Can, but I want to go for scout because I won't be able to scout more and more of this town it, oh. until my Master Thief has is more it, actions. Oh. Let's see, then we'll just go Is and burgle this for some money. I really didn't... really wasn't smart on that. I should have scouted sure. the whole schooner. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna kill this guy, and then hopefully if they don't kill him, we're gonna kill this guy as well. So we will have enough damage to kill our assassination target over here. As long as she doesn't move. At least that's what I'm hoping. And then we really should probably be sending urchins... Huh. Oh, we could go actually with multiple, multiple mm. gangs. I've never actually done multiple gangs. I've just had one. But I feel like really it's a better idea to just go with the In go puppet. with the one for now at least. All right, so let's see It'll what be this one. guy is. Oh, huh? oh, wait, how much health? He has one attack. Okay, let's go. Killing the enemy gang. There we go. That'll give us our attack up that we need to kill our assassination target here, and it'll take one out it'll be more of the running. Another for my which is a good idea. And it looks like oh, she's holding that one. Damn it. Okay, I guess I have to throw a thug in there. Uh, okay. Speaking of like that, go ahead and place it okay. right there. It says guard for two turns. Does he disappear after two turns? I hope not. That's Hello. Awfully unfortunate. All right then. Go ahead. Let's throw the other Hello. version in there. I don't have right away. for gold right now, and we need more urch. We need more urchins. Excuse me. We need more lanterns or more tech, I guess. So this is the first map that I've really had to like run around the whole map, I feel like. Okay, first. It'll be more scout here. You can see her. Yeah. Okay, sure. Nice. 
good going. Got one permanent victory point. That's not the one we need. That's fine. Let's go gold per kill, because we're going to need some gold here in a bit. And then let's start heading over to this guard tower. She's kind of got those two um, working through on the map, so go ahead and work that one out. Let's see here. Uh, Burgle Arc from Estates for two lantern. Uh, kind of want to go with lamp lighter though. help us in the long run for getting that extra lanterns we need. And then any lanterns I can get, I can buy the first prize, which is probably what I want to do. But we'll see. We will see how it goes. Job's I done. might be able to get some for burgling. I oh, no. It's baguette. It's like baguette, but not baguette. Job's done. I think I powered him up as much as I can. Terms of attack. Okay. All right. So let's go on over it. here. Does this unlock the guard tower for Beautiful. us? Beautiful. Can't move there. On it. Okay. I'll take that. Damn it! I was hoping one of these would be a freaking church. Beautiful. Oh, I guess this could be a church there too. Damn it! Ugh. Of course. So dumb. Let's just try to take as much gold as we can. Let's go with more gold. Now he... Let's see. I do not have a guy there anymore. That's kind of okay. Um, shoot. Can I only have one gang at a time? does not say, but it seems like that is the case. Real quick, I'm gonna end my turn without buying an upgrade, because I can buy my first bride next turn. As long as she doesn't take it, which is kind of my hope. She's not doing so well on victory points. She is doing much better on, um, on guard tower control, however. So let's see, that one's still locked. This one... Since it's not locked, it looks like I have it under control. Is it? What I'm oh, assuming. beautiful! Strange Fellows Club. God damn it. I was hoping it. it would be a church. It's fine. I'll take that. Whatever. Take the money. Uh, let's go ahead and buy a thug. It's, what it's hey. inactive. Oh my god. Another I my it again. I'm a goddamn idiot. I want to make it active, but I don't know how to do that. Okay. You join the gang. That's fine. Uh, is there anywhere I can send urchins that'll help? Oi. Here? Yeah. Right away. Let's go ahead and infiltrate that. It'll bring down the thug cost, which honestly I think is what we need right now. Let's go and buy our first bribe. Sweet. So now we only need two more victory points besides the one we have to get from burgling the palace. But we only have to do it once because it'll give us two victory points, essentially. So. Uh, this place is able to be infiltrated. Whatever it is. So. Ugh. Hey, lady. Stop making weird noises. Do I have a dagger. I do not. Now I do. Sweet. So let's attack her. Yeah. Let's have this guy kill let's go. her. Good there. Sweet. So there's our next victory point. And then let's have our thief. Oh god, I forgot. There is money now from these guys. Let's have our thief go. Oh my god. This is... Is it out oh. here? And I can't even go there. Oh, I thought this place was called Fragrant Bosom. I was like, what is going on over there? Alright, this is more slow, slow, slow going than the other one here. Um, what? 
but I guess we're Can gonna I help you? And... Oh, okay. I thought he immediately killed that guy. That was not gonna be fun. Oh, really? Uh, but let's see here. I will start this turn off. Okay, we're gonna start this turn off. Oh my god, there's so many things to do. This is the issue. There's so many things to scout. All this shit. Okay. Can I... Okay, I can't move anywhere in regards to this tower. So how did I even... Oh, do I have to scout oh, here? Does that make it active now that I've scouted all the things next to it? I don't... Uh, I clearly have no idea what I'm doing. At least on this one. It's inactive. How do I get it active? Hello. Sending the master thief to attack. Attack him. Good job, you did it. Great. You're the best. It would be more. Ah. And I really don't think the thug is gonna be oh. able to do anything. I don't know what he's doing. Jesus, cash monies. Join the freaking gang. I don't know what else to do. I'm gonna keep buffing up this gang because it's uh, the only thing that's keeping me alive. So I need to start. I really need to go over here. Uh, you know what? Screw it. We'll go over here. We'll just scout everything we possibly can to just make sure we're getting, um, getting everything we can. And we have at least one estate on the map, so I'm gonna get that, because there's our estate. So we can just go ahead and burgle for a couple landers. There's another one too. So that's gonna be helpful to us. Ugh. So we're gonna have so many fucking landers and all the all the benefits in the world, but really all that matters is that we need to stop this from happening. <gasps> they have a gang over there that can do six damage? How? Mm. Tilda, I wish I could end your goddamn life right now. Uh, okay. This I is am getting, here. This is getting kind of scary. Huh? Are you here? You are here? It's great. I'm happy for you. Uh, let's go ahead and fight this. Second bribe is eight. Eight monies. I'll have enough for that next turn, assuming I don't spend it. I don't want to attack the assassination contract because I know there's a gang around here. I don't think the assassination contract can attack me back, though. That's the thing. Burgle is going to be like, oh, there's a there's a dude here. And I'll be like, oh, yeah. Right. Oh, damn it. I can't attack. That's right. Uh, is it? Oh. I guess we'll just scout this way. I think if we sure. trap the guy here, we keep our gang here, he can't, they can't get to him, because he's stuck, is my guess. Did I have to put an urchin what? at the guard tower? No. Urchins can't, cannot work. Okay. Uh, well... I guess I just kind of made an urchin. Wait, hang on, urchin? Can you, can you go to the estate? You cannot. Okay, well, let's move you back here, because I'm terrified that you're gonna die. <laughs> We're gonna give this okay. guy to the gang, because he had an assassin. I know that now. Yeah, well, we can't do anything with it. I know, we have unused actions. I don't know where to put it. Just being a problem, a problem child. So I have enough for the last victory point. Besides, ah, ah rude. God damn. Having fun with the freaking leftovers. I already got that place. That's the stuff. Or did I get that place? I'm just burning a ton of money off of me. Damn it. I'm real dumb. Okay. All right, gotta make a plan. All right, real quick. So, yeah. you 
Gonna end this man's life. Sure. sure. Yeah, contract complete, you biatch. Woohoo! Get all that money. More eviction, I guess? Because I don't really have any other choice. Buddy, you are gonna... Go, go to the strange Oops. fellows club. I forgot I could put you there. Let's go. Uh, can we attack this way? Ta-da! I like to burgle In my pocket. Thank you. Can I not burgle for art? I'd like to burgle for the sake of art. It would be mine. Alright, so I'm headed that way. Uh, let's go ahead and... Oh my god. Do more free. Okay. I have so much money. Oh, fuck it. Oi. Let's go urchin. Let's go right away. So now that brings down the cost for gangs and thugs plus... <sighs> yeah. Join. Okay. Ah, uh, that doesn't make them super powerful. Like I thought it would. God damn it. I have eight lanterns. Oh, okay. We don't even need... Oh, we don't even need to buy the second bribe. Because we killed the other guy. Okay. Dang. Alright. Uh... I feel like the assassin is kind of useless now. Let's add a bunch of extra options. And the truant officer is... You evict all urgents, essentially. Okay. That's fine. Um... We're gonna wait on our next upgrade. That's it'll be more. I don't need that right now. Uh, we're gonna end the turn, and then just kind of bide our time for now. Uh, let her take her turn. Figure out what she's doing. Job's done. Do, do some shit. Oh, no. and hopefully he'll just like disappear for a while. <laughs> oh. Hmm. I hate that she gets free damage off on my guy. I just want to kill. Just want to kill her because she just keeps damaging my gang over and over, and I can't do any <gasps> damage. Fucking bitch! She sent her stupid, stupid what's their faces after me. Okay. God damn it! All right. Well, let's think this over here. Okay. So let's see. So she has... Okay, first, we've got to oh, yeah. hire a game. Because I'm kind of screwed without them. Um, let's hold off on recruiting anyone else for now. Hello. Let's use our thief to kill this guy. <laughs> got to get this guy out of the way. Now, going to have to burgle this place. Ah. Okay, there's a bank. That's kind of unfortunate. Honestly. And then... Uh, crap. Is it all? Alright, I guess let's scout here. So we've got an enemy gang. Three damage. One eviction. Uh, of course. Let's just attack this guy. We can attack him for his last health next turn. But right now we're kind of in trouble. Oh, we need second gang. Yeah, we'll, that. we'll get to second gang here. Take six, so we're almost there. I want to get to that eventually, but it's just not worth it right now. Uh, uh Matilda's gonna mm. just hang around. Okay. There you go. And then also, I wanted. I don't know if that unlocks, though. Everything's locked. I could kill that guy with the thief. But then still, I don't even know how it unlocks. I had to kill the guy here, but there's no thug here. I'm just very confused about this whole thing. Job's done. Uh, okay, and he left the guard tower, and then just... That's the stuff. Oh my god, this is making me lose my mind. Go ahead. She stole the jewelry that I couldn't figure out how to do. Oh, damn it. She really needs some victory points, though. She 
He's got one. And the... Well, not the palace one yet. Neither of us have that. Okay, real quick. I want to try this. So, thug. Go here. Oops. Occupy all active guard towers. Okay. There you go. I'm occupying them for two turns. Apparently. Now... I apparently can't do anything else at the moment. Which is fine, I guess. I'm gonna scout this. Is it active? It'll be more. Burglar. Ah. Good. We got it. We're set. Okay. He's there. Can I? Okay. I can guard it now. Okay. Mm. It's revealed. Can I burgle? I don't know. Okay, so I gotta end this episode here. It's, it's been a long one. I hope you all are enjoying it. I really enjoy strategy games like this, so I'm having a blast. Um, but like I said, I'm hoping you guys are too. So this has been the first episode of Antihero, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.